In today's episode, we will be discussing about frugal living. Is frugal living beneficial? And some advantages of living frugally. Have you ever considered whether frugal living is worthwhile? You may have wondered about ways to save money, and frugal living if your bills exceed your income, or if you're just looking for some ways to cut your expenses. Many people dismiss frugal living, when it is simply a way to live more affordably. While we haven't always done so, our family does live on a tight budget, and we won't go back. We've seen how much better our quality of life can be, when we find ways to save money, and there's no reason for us to pay full price again. Is frugal living worthwhile, in our opinion? My answer is a million times yes. By living frugally, using coupons, and finding other ways to save money, my husband and I have saved, tens of thousands of dollars. Here's how it's benefited our family. You realize you don't have to pay the full amount. My husband was so mortified, when I first started using coupons over a decade ago, that he went and hid while I was checking out. He was embarrassed that, I was using coupons despite the fact that we made a good living, and didn't have to. But something strange happened the first time he actually saw me use coupons. I was buying three baby toys. We got one for our son and two for our nephews. My total purchase price was $30 before coupons and less than $1 after. My husband was astounded, and he couldn't believe we got three of a popular baby toy for pennies. He was hooked after that and has been assisting me in saving money ever since. You can save a lot of money this way. We've cut our grocery bill by at least half since I started living frugally and saving money. This is for a four-person family with two teenagers and two pets. I pay less for our monthly groceries, pet food, and necessities than many single people. I can hear the people behind me sigh when I pull out coupons at a cash register. They've even told me that using coupons is a waste of time. They then observe as I save 30%, 50%, 75%, and more. People who were irritated by an extra minute or two of waiting congratulated me, and asked how they could begin saving money. Groceries aren't the only place to cut costs, and our family has incorporated frugal living into nearly every aspect of our lives. We've also discovered other ways to save money, such as cutting our cell phone bill in half, and lowering our car insurance. We've also discovered other ways to save money, such as cutting our cell phone bill in half, and lowering our car insurance. Even things like gas for your car can be saved on. We participate in a local fuel saver program with our local grocery store chain, and can save money at the pump by earning points, when we buy groceries, with coupons of course. Because of these savings, we've often gotten our fuel for half price or even free you discover that you were overpaying for the majority of your purchases. If you are not already living frugally, chances are you are overpaying for the majority of your purchases. When shopping online, a quick check on my phone or a click on my browser can result in significant savings. Why should you pay full price, when you don't have to? Do you have an emergency savings account? you can survive an emergency. If your car needed $4,000 in repairs, your furnace or hot water heater needed to be replaced, or you needed $1,000 in dental work, would you be able to do it without incurring debt? We have not only been able to save enough money for emergencies, by spending only what we need, but we have also been able to handle nearly everything that life has thrown at us, including the pandemic. In the years we've been together, my husband and I have survived over a dozen job layoffs. Frugal living has enabled us to provide for our family's needs, while also dealing with emergencies as they arise. You can afford to assist others. Our frugal lifestyle not only allows us to do more with our money, but it also allows us to share with others. You can have money set aside for extras. 
What happens when you don't spend all of your money on expenses? You will have enough money to spend. My family lives modestly but comfortably. My husband and I can afford these items, because we save money on things like our cell phone, groceries, and other expenses. We eat out at restaurants, go to concerts and movies, and travel to many amazing places. We can then use some of our savings to enjoy the good things in life. Having said that, when we do splurge, we look for ways to save. Is frugal living worthwhile in the long run? I guess the real question is, are you willing to put in the effort to reap the benefits? While it does require some time and planning, it is possible to spend significantly less on things we require. You can also use these savings for other necessities, as well as some frivolities. These funds can then be used, to supplement your savings, build an emergency fund, or save for college or retirement. We post a new video every day. The channel is directed towards, providing you a daily dose of content, centered around how to make money, living a financially fulfilled life, learning how to optimize your relationships in life, and providing a boost in your morale, through our motivational videos. If you like this video, then you need to watch the next one. Kindly click on the image, hovering on your screen, to see the next related video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button, and if you have something to say, please leave a comment. We always appreciate hearing from you.